Well, hello. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi, teacher. How was your day today? How was your day today? Everything good? It's fine. A little, a little tired, huh? One, one more day for the weekend. Un día más de fin de semana. Are you ready to start the week? Start the week, right? Start the week. We're going to begin here in about one minute. So be ready. Let me see. Okay, are you ready to begin unit four? We're going to begin section four. And I hope you're doing you're doing good. I hope you're having a great day. Let me see. We have some connecting right now. So let's let's start by um Jose Eulogio. Present. Uh, hi, uh, can you tell me today's date? Más para empezar, can you give us today's date? Today, today is uh, Monday. Monday. Okay. Today, day is Monday, uh, May 31. Yes. 2021. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Adiamas, that would like to try it. Someone else? Hello, Melissa. Melissa. Hello, teacher. Hi. Can you give us today's date? Uh, today is Monday, May uh, 31. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> ya me confundí. Okay. <laughs> Solo sé que cuando termine en uno se le pone ST, pero uh -huh. no recuerdo cómo se dice. Y la pronunciación, right? That's what you're looking for, the pronunciation, right? Ah. Uh -huh. 31st. Oh. Right? 31st, Jose. 31st, Melissa. Go ahead, do it again, Melissa. Okay. Monday, May 31st, um, 2021. Very good, very good. Monday, very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Jose, one more time. Monday day. Today is Monday, May 31st, 2021. Very good. Much better. Yes. Yes, that is correct. Anyone else that would like to try it? Sandra? Okay. Today is Monday, 33. No, no, no. The, okay. Today is Monday of my 33, 2021. Mm -hmm. okay. Me hizo falta algo, me hizo falta algo. Creo que me hizo falta algo. Pero no vi no vi Okay, Sandra, let me see. We're going to get, uh, vamos a ver si una compañera le puede ayudar aquí. Melissa, what, what, okay. do you think, what do you think happened with Sandra? Can you help her? Eh, se lo repito. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. Dale, go ahead, Melissa. Okay, Monday, May 31st, 2021. Excellent, excellent. Good job, good job. Okay, vamos a ver, Sandra, con todo. Yes. Es que cuando dice ella, cuando dice today is May, ¿verdad? Monday. Monday. Monday, Monday, ah, um, eso. Monday, Monday is Monday. To, to, today is Monday. May. Of May. Yeah? No, May. No, Ajá, solo Monday, May. Ah, Monday, May. Okay, okay. Today, Monday, May. Third three. No. No. Thirty first. Thirty first. Yes. Thirty first. 
Ferry. Ferry. First. Fer. First. Es que de ahí eso me cuesta pronunciar. <laughs> no problem. Ferry. No problem. Yeah, Ferry. <laughs> ok. Mm -hmm. uh, 20, 21. Ok, uh -huh. much better, much better, uh -huh. un poquito mejor, right? Yes. O sea, yes. o sea que me cuesta el 33. 33. 31. 31st. Eso, right? Y 31st. Ok, ahora suéltelo. First. First. 31st. Ok, mucho 30 mejor. First. Ok, Muy, ya lo voy, better, lo, voy a, yes. lo voy a practicar. practicar. Yes, ok. okay, okay Luis. Okay. Uh, date Monday, uh, May 31st, 2021. Okay, 2021, right? 2021. 2021. Very good, very good, right? 2021. Anyone else? Alguien más? Challenge, 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 challenge. Reto, reto, reto. Nobody else? Okay. All right, problem. Let me see. I'm going to begin, okay, Luis, te voy a apagar la cámara, okay. I'm going to do the first uh, attendance. I'm going to do the first attendance. Let me see. Okay. Okay, Ángel Eduardo Ramírez. Ángel Eduardo Ramírez. Okay. No answer. Carlos Luis Quiroa. <clears throat> Carlos Luis Quiroa. Aquí acaba de escribir Carlos en el WhatsApp que ya no estoy permite. activo. Ah, ya okay. estoy activo. Gracias, ah, compañero. Gracias. Okay. Ya, estoy, ya estoy aquí. Gracias. All right. César Mauricio Morales. Present. Ok, thank you. Eh, Dania Guadalupe Bolaños. Dania Guadalupe Bolaños. Ok, la respuesta. Dania Saraí Martínez. Dania Saraí Martínez. Ok, no answer. Daniel Isaías Martínez. Presente. All right, thank you. Diana Verónica. Presente. Ok, thank you. Edith Alicia Rico. Present. Thank you. Erica Alejandra Rivas. Present. Thank you. Genesis Marines. Genesis Marines Castillo. Okay, no answer. Ingrid Edelmira Serna. Ingrid Edelmira. Okay, no answer. Jacqueline Vanessa Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jorge Humberto Cuellar. Okay, no answer. Jose Lopez. Present. Thank you. Eligia Esther Estrada. Present. Thank you. Luis Eliazar Hernández. Luis Eliazar Hernández. Ok, no hay... Ok, I see you. Ok, thank you. Luis Gonzalo Alemán. Present. Luis Gonzalo Alemán. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Present. Margarita Guadalupe. Margarita Guadalupe Pineda. No answer. Marielos Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Melissa Valeria Morales. 
Present. All right. Ronald Antonio Luna. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Sandra Evelyn Vaquero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Beatriz Rodriguez. Present. All right, thank you. Wendy Esmeralda Garcia. Present. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Carolina. Present. Thank you. Jessica Roxana Contreras. Present. Okay, thank you. And Zulma Guadalupe. Zulma Guadalupe. Okay, no answer. All right, great. Okay, class, let's um, let's get started. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'm going to share with you what we are going to basically go over. And it's, let me see, this is the lesson objective. Okay, who wants to read? Wait, I'm not an audience. Um, Eric Alejandra, can you read, please? Okay. In this class, uh, you will learn club vocabulary, uh, particulate, particulate. Okay. okay. Particularly, okay, particularly clothes uh, which you wear for work and for leisure. Okay, leisure, leisure. Uh, leisure. leisure. Okay. okay, what is leisure? Alguien puede, alguien sabe qué quiere decir leisure? Descansar. Okay, particularly for K. For clothes which you wear for work, ropa que usan para el trabajo, and for leisure. Leisure. Como tiempo think? libre. Exactly, yes. Free time, right? Cuando salen así, voy a caminar, or I'm going here, right? Voy al parque, wherever, leisure time. Or you can say going to the beach or to the, to the mall, right? Anywhere you want, just free time. Free time, right? Very good. Here it says para descansar, pero prácticamente es como... Descansar, pero hoy, hoy descanso, voy a salir, right? <laughs> a salir un rato. I'm going out somewhere, right? So, all right. So, we're going to be able to distinguish and learn some of this vocabulary that is related to clothes, right? La ropa, clothes, ropa, and everything that we wear. For example, what are you wearing today, right? Lo que tiene puesto hoy. You can talk about it today also. Now, let me see. Let's look at this. I know it looks a little different, like, se ven algo diferente, right? Como andamos nosotros, right? But don't worry. We're going to talk about our, our own clothing, right? In nuestra propia perspectiva cultural, right? We're going to use our own culture in our own way after we watch the video. So don't worry. All right, let, uh, let me see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left-hand side are for work and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Coat. Shoes. Blouse. Scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, 
clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. Jeans. Gloves. Boots. Cap. T-shirt. Shorts. Socks. Sneakers. Pajamas. Swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Sure. Let's practice by scarf. I would like for you to talk about the for leisure. Uh, shorts at home. Okay, class. Now, today you're going to talk about what you wear at work and what you wear at home, right? Remember that it varies. It varies. Varia. It varies, right? So what you wear at work, sometimes you have to go with a suit, un traje, right? Or you go in particular, right? In particular clothes, in particular, como decimos, right? But how do you go to work? Do you go to work the same way that you are at home? Van a trabajar del de mismo estilo de ropa que usa en casa al trabajo? Or do you change, right? For example, uh, do you wear, uh, llevan gorras al trabajo? I don't know, right? Ustedes decían, van en shorts? Con shorts, con calcetines y los tenis? Do you go to work like that? Or do you work to work uh, in different style? For example, like this. This is a little bit more like a little bit more professional, right? Ya con un saco y corbata, right? Is that how you go to work? La mayoría no, right? The majority don't, right? Hay que ser realista. Uh, but, hay algunos que sí. But for the most part, how do you go to work? What do you wear? Anyone would like to participate para introducir cómo vamos a hacer esta actividad. But first, antes que nada, let's practice the vocabulary. Camisa. How do you say camisa? Shirt. Shirt. Corbata. Tie. Tie. Pantalones. Pants. Pants. Zapatos. Shoes. Shoes. Una chamarra. Un, se llama un coat. Un coat. Como la pueden ver que tiene en la mano él. A coat. A coat. Y a un traje ya de esto. Un traje así se le llama un suit. Un suit. You call it a suit. And let me see for the woman. Una blusa. Blouse. Blouse. A scarf. Scarf. Scarf es eh, eh, lo que lleva aquí en... Eh, eh, ¿Alguien me puede ayudar con esa palabra? Bufanda. Bufanda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bufanda. Bufanda or bufanda? Bufanda. All right. So that is how you say it in Spanish. Bufanda. That is the scarf that goes around the neck, right? That is called scarf. Scarf. Skirt. Skirt. It's falda. Right? Skirt. High heels. High heels. Una vez más. High heels. Son zapatos con tacón, right? High heels. A vestido, dress, dress. And then you have here a raincoat, raincoat. Que es como para el agua, right? Si está lloviendo se ponen un raincoat, right? Eh, aquí prácticamente usamos la sombrilla, right? <laughs> The umbrella, right? <laughs> umbrella, no tenemos uno para lluvia, uno para este, right? Uh, umbrella. And just to give you 
the word umbrella, para que lo sepan, umbrella. Es sombrilla. Aquí se la estoy poniendo. So you can have it as another vocabulary. That is an umbrella. Now, there's a word here for leisure, for the, for the man. Okay? Gloves. ¿Qué son gloves? For the woman? Guantes. Very guantes. good. Guantes. Gloves are guantes, right? And you have a hat. Hat. Notice Sombrero. the difference. Sombrero. Yes. Notice the difference. A hat and you a cap. Una cachucha se le llama cap. Cap. And you have here. Listen, sneakers. Esta palabra, sneakers. Ay, no voy a pensar que son sneakers de chocolate, right? Sneakers. Sneakers. Son como tennis shoes. O la otra palabra, como les dije ahorita, tennis shoes. Ok, para que sepan las dos. Tennis shoes. Ok. Sneakers or tennis shoes. Son tenis. Ok. Tenis uh, para andar afuera. Now, let me see what que quería ver aquí. Ok, that was it right there. Notice the word shorts. Shorts. Son chores. Ok, los shorts. Se le pone la S. Ok. Remember. Porque si no, la palabra short sí existe. Ok. Pero eso es para cuando dice la persona está uh, baja de estatura. Pequeña, baja. Pequeña, exactamente. Yes, Erica. Right. Now, shorts son los, los chores. ¿Y por qué se le pone la S? Muchos me preguntan a veces. Why does it have S or pants también? Si nomás es uno. Es porque es en pares. Son dos. Ok, son dos. Igual como eh, calcetines, socks, vienen en pares. Ok, vienen en pares, socks, vienen en dos, por eso siempre va en plural. Ok, uno no, uno no dice, trae los calcetín, ¿verdad que no? Trae los calcetines, right? Y estamos hablando del par, ponete los calcetines en pares. So that's why it's an S, siempre va a estar en plural. Ok, it's going to be in plural, in plural. And let me see, we have t-shirt, t-shirt, que significa una camiseta, okay, t-shirt, right, t-shirt es camiseta, un poquito más de vocabulario le voy a dar, y luego tenemos lo que es una shirt, shirt, que nomás dice shirt, que es una camisa, okay, tenemos una camisa que es shirt, y que significa t-shirt, Class? Camiseta. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. And then you have down here pajamas. Pajamas. And swimsuits. Swimsuits. Que son trajes de baño. Swimsuits. Swimsuits. Se lo voy a poner porque casi no se mira. Swim. Suits. Ok. Trajes de baño. Como pueden ver la palabra suits aquí, ve. Y está aquí como un traje. Como un un traje ya con saco y todo, right? Swimsuits, pero aquí es traje de baño. Swimsuits. Now, I'm going to select some of you, ¿ok? Eh, he notado que algunos los tengo que llamar para que participen. So, eh, aquí para mi reporte final que hago. I'm going to call, voy a empezar a llamar a personas y voy a empezar a notificar la participación. Let's see. Okay, great. Okay, let me call on someone. Diana Verónica. Hello, Diana. Hi, hello, I would like to hear your voice. Quisiera escuchar su voz, a ver su participación here today. And what, what are your clothes that you wear to work? ¿Nos puede decir algunos de las prendas que usted usa para trabajar, maybe in clothing? Do you, que, maybe that are here, que estén aquí quizás, o separadas. Mm. 
I wear uh, a sneaker to okay. work. Ok, usa tenis para el trabajo, ok. Yes, sir. Ok, very good. Mm. Anything else? Yeah. I... I am uh, short. Uh, I, I wear, I wear el I verbo wear. De, de usar. Wear, te lo voy a poner aquí. Wear, y arriba. Wear. I wear uh, short at home. Okay, at home, okay, at home. Very good, very good. Anything else? Algo más? You would like to add? No? Okay, so you say you wear shorts at home, right? Casita ya con shorts. And then at yes. work, you wear, que mencionó los, los uh, tennis shoes or sneakers, right? Okay. Um, thank you, Diana. Now, I have here long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve shirt. Diana, do you have a long sleeve shirt? ¿Tiene usted enseña la manga de su camisa? Okay, es corta, okay. All right. All right, very good. Very good. ¿Alguien que tenga manga larga? ¿Cuesta? ¿Quién tiene una manga larga? Una camisa manga larga puesta. ¿Nadie? ¿Nobody? Ok, let me see. Long sleeve shirt. Eso significa manga larga. Long sleeve shirt. Ok, I have a person here that wanted to... Per Levantó la, la mano. José López. Yes, teacher. Hi, can uh, you give us an example? Um, I wear in, in my home. I wear, I wear in my home. Shirts and shirts. Okay, shorts and shirts. All right. Very good, very good. Anyone else? Aquí veo la participación. Alguien más? Someone else? Anyone else before I put you in breakout rooms? Okay. Uh, my clothes, yo, yo teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my clothes uh, right now is, is wear t-shirts. I wear. I, okay. I wear a t-shirt. Okay. I wear shoes. Shoes. Okay. I wear, I wear cap. Uh, okay. I wear what? I wear cap. Mm, I wear a cap, a cap, okay, cap. Okay, very good, very good, excellent, excellent. Okay, Luis and then Sandra. Y luego vamos a ir a break out. Se puede, se puede, my teacher wear glasses for work. Okay, to work, to work. To work. Very good, very good, excellent, excellent, good job, good job. Sandra? I wear, I wear my house jeans. A chair. I wear in my house. In my house. Uh, I wear in my house jeans, a chair. Okay, and a shirt. Y una camisa, right? And, and, and. and. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Sandra. I wear. Very good. I wear. Remember, van a utilizar la palabra wear. Como está aquí, I wear. wear. Wear, right? Lo que lleva puesto, lo que usa de ropa. I wear. I wear. Uh -huh. oh, hola, hola. Ay, tenía el micrófono. Sí, quería participar. Yeah, sí, yeah. no, que quiero participar. Yes. Um, I wear um, shoes uh, for work. Um, um, panty house, no sé si, si se pronuncia. Ok, yes, in the house, yes. Uh, Um, eh, falda dijo es, es, square, square. Skirt, skirt. Falda. Skirt. Skirt. Very good. Y una duda, eh, lo mismo se pronuncia blusa para hombre que para mujer. A blouse. Blusa. A blouse. Sí. Blusa. Mm. No, perdón, camisa. camisa. Ok, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok, porque okay. blouse es por... Eh, sí. Okay. Right. Ah, sí. Eh, Blouse. Entonces para dama sería. Blouse. 
Y para hombre puede decir shirt, t-shirt, un suit, saco, uh, whatever he's wearing. Right? También está otra también. Eh, uh, se la voy a poner aquí. Vamos a ver. Uh, let's see if you can figure it out. But thank you, Zulma. Thank you for participating. Let me see. La voy a anotar aquí. Zulma. Para look. And Sandra, Carlos, Jose. Let me see. And Daniel. All right. Now, there's another word that I would like to show you. Hello, Jacqueline. You raise your hand. Una pregunta o participación? Participación. All right, excellent. Good job, Jacqueline. Go ahead. I wear in my house a cheers, jeans, and uh, tennis shoe. Okay, and jeans. And jeans. And jeans. All right, very good, very Jean. good. Very good, excellent, excellent. Anything else, Jacqueline? Anything else? Algo más? Es solamente eso. All right, very good. All right, one more one more person would be Jessica. Uh, I wore a blouse, skirt, or there for work. Okay, okay, very good. All day for work, right? All right, very good for work. Excellent, good job, good job. Yeah, para el trabajo, right? Now, what does this mean? Thank you, um, Jessica. All right. Thank you, uh, Jessica. What is this muscle shirt? ¿Qué significa muscle shirt? Algunos saben de que, que usa, uh, nos ponemos nosotros a veces. Muscle shirt. Es esa camiseta que es co color blanca que nomás. Sin mangas. Ah, sin centro. mangas. Una, una camiseta centro. sin Exacto, como un, un centro. centro. Right? Uh -huh. Muscle shirt. Muscle shirt se le llama, right? Muscle yes. shirt. Muscle shirt. Así se le llama. Prácticamente a muscle shirt. Ok, I'm going to, yes, lo voy a poner en break. Yes, Jose. Como esta que estoy usando yo. Mm, sí, casi, es como media camisa y media muscle shirt, right? ¿Por qué? Porque no tiene, no está cortada. Nomás, no, nomás que no tiene las mangas. So that's a cut off. Eso se llama un cut off. Cut off sleeve. Cut off sleeve shirt. Okay. It's similar, but the other is más delgadita. Más delgadita. All right. But it's similar, right? This is cut off. La tuya no más que está, no tiene las mangas. It's all right. <laughs> but it's similar. It's similar. All right. Thank you, Jose. Thank you for your participation. Okay. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. And what I want you to do is I want you to practice what you wear at home and what you wear at work or or what you are wearing right now, lo que está, lo que está, lo que lleva puesta o puesto ahorita. Okay. Now, is there any word? Hay alguna palabra que necesitan ayuda en la pronunciación? Remember, you can ask me. Okay. You can ask me. Me pueden preguntar ahorita. Por favor. Teacher. Yes. Vaya, para decir en ese momento lo que yo, no sé si estoy en lo correcto, lo que yo he puesto en este momento. At this moment, I am wearing a blouse, shorts, and flip-flops. Very good. Se pronuncia, Very ¿no? good. Yes. At yes. home, o sea, en casa. Excellent, excellent, excellent. excellent. All right, flip-flops. Flip-flops. Son de, prácticamente de las chancretitas que nomás se mete uno así, right? Y rápido se las quita, no son de esas que tiene que hacer mucho para quitárselas, right? Yeah, no sé. Yeah. Right? Flip flops es como... Uh, they're just regular, regular uh, uh, chanclas. O flip flops podemos decir hasta llenas también, right? <ríe> si queremos, right? They're flip flops, all right? Flip flops. Bien cómodas, right? Bien cómodas. So yes, that is correct. Thank you, Erica. Good job. Good job. Now, um, let me see. There's another difference, right? I can't demonstrate another palabra. Shoes. Shoes. Zapatos, right? 
en general. ¿Y qué son estos? Dress shoes. Tacón alto. De vestir. Mm. Tacón alto. Zapatos de vestir. Tacón alto. Zapatos de vestir. Ok, very good. Zapatos de vestir, yes. Ok, tacón alto es high heels. High heels. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, okay gracias, teacher. All right. Okay. Dress shoes son zapatos de vestir, right? For example, right? I don't know if maybe cuando estamos pequeños. ¿Sería para algo, caballero, teacher? Eh, yes, yes. Eh. Or, or. También incluye a la mujer, ¿ok? Aunque uno dice, bueno, oh. ponerte zapatos de vestir, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, prácticamente cuando uno va a salir o va a ir a un lugar y lleva un... ¿verdad? Imagínense cuando estaban pequeños y le decía a sus padres, ponete los zapatos y ya viene él y se pone los zapatos. No, zapatos de vestir, ¿verdad? ¿eh? <risa> Sería so... entonces como un zapato formal. Exactamente. Ya sea para damas yes. o caballeros. Yes, exactly. Okay. Right? So, I estoy dando wear... más vocabulario. Right? Yes. I wear dress shoes in my work. All right, very good. Excellent, excellent. Good job, Luis. All right, thank you. Yes, now I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Hay alguna otra palabra que tengan duda, pronunciation. You can ask me before I put you in breakout rooms. Okay. Teacher y sandalia, ¿cómo se dice? Okay, la palabra sandalia. Sandals. Yes, literalmente es sandals. Okay, gracias. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. How do you say pasarrillos? What? How do you say pasarrillos? Okay. Son como jeans cort, eh, un poco más arriba del tobillo. Ah, ok. Those are called, esos son prácticamente así como con camisas de polo, right? Is that shorts you're talking about? O shorts nomás para ir a la playa? O de vestir? Um, hay de vestir y hay así de jeans. Vaya, vaya. son dress shorts. All right. Son prácticamente unos shorts más formales, right? Dress shorts. Que bajan un poquito, hasta tienen una bolsita, ¿verdad? Ahí a los lados a veces. Those are dress shorts, right? Those are dress shorts. The other, like, que usan para, como para jugar fútbol o algo así, basquetbol, esos son diferentes. Those are, but these are more formal, right? Thank you, thank you. Good question. All right, let me see. Okay, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and I want you to practice speaking. Practice the speaking and interaction with your classmates. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Remember, you can ask, hagan las preguntas así, what do you wear to work? What do you wear? ¿Qué, qué usas? ¿Qué te pones para el trabajo? Right? ¿Qué usas de ropa? What do you wear for work? I'm going to... Right, así pueden iniciar ustedes la conversación. What do you wear to work? ¿Qué usas para el trabajo? Usa el trabajo. What do you wear to work? Right. And then you can respond. I wear. Right. Le estoy dando la forma formal. Ok. Para que no empiecen a uh, shorts y, y camisa, right? I want you to do it formally. I wear, right? Whatever you decide, right? ¿Qué usa usted el trabajo? What do you wear? Y luego, what do you wear in your house? ¿Qué usa en su casa? What do you wear in your house, all right? O, o otra palabra que se puede utilizar para where, what do you put on? ¿Qué te pones? Right? Ese es otro verbo que es un phrasal verb. What do you put on? ¿Qué te pones en la casa? Right? El otro es ¿qué usas en la casa? O sea, casi lo mismo. Right? But I'm giving you two options. Right? Give me two options. Esta es la más formal. Esta es un poquito más informal. Pero para que sepan las dos. All right, what do you put on 
when you Good go, show. when you play, Thank when you play sports. All right. Vamos a ver, aquí cambiando el vocabulario. ¿Qué te pones Teacher. cuando juegas deportes? All y right. ese siempre se contestaría, I wear. I wear, yes, cuando utilizamos el wear. Y ya el otro es, I put on. I put on. Ah, okay. right? le, le estoy expandiendo más de lo formal. Ay, ejemplo, ¿qué te pones cuando vas a jugar deportes? Ah, oh, fíjate que yo me pongo una camisa así y una cachucha, right? Eh, whatever, right? Whatever. And then you can say, I put on. Y luego, esto es más informal y esto es más formal. Right? I'm giving you more, more options. Otra opción. Sí, Porque sure. en algún momento otro alguien le puede decir, what do you put on? Y like, I put on, que, que, que está refiriendo, right? Yeah. Yes. Somebody said, teacher, and you didn't have a question. How do you say genus? Genus, flip flops, flip flops, así como lo dijo la compañera, flip flops. También es otra palabra, flip flops. Thank you. All right, la otra que pueden utilizar es sandalias, sandals, right? Sandals. O oh, hay otra. Esto es un poquito más, eh, como le diga, como. Ahorita, ahorita lo vamos a ver. House. House. Shoes. House shoes. House shoes son aquellos como que tienen como. Como cueritos, son un poquito más caras. Right. Eh, son diferentes house shoes, zapatos de casa, right? Zapatos de casa. They're called house shoes, right? Un poquito más caras. They're a little bit more expensive, un poquito más diseño, incluso este tienen como algo algodoncito y todo, más anchita, más puffy, a little bit thicker, right? House shoes. Aquí está otra palabra para ustedes, right? House shoes. No van a pensar que son zapatos, sino que así se les llama. All right, house shoes. Son prácticamente como sandalias, pero más, uh, como dices, de más calidad. Eso, very good. Esa es la palabra que andamos. Yes, thank you. Thank you, right? Thank you very much, pantuflas. Yes, they're a little bit different. Okay, now I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Si quiere una consulta, entonces, ¿slippers qué vendría siendo? Porque también, he entendido también. que slippers eran las pantuflas. Eh, también slippers, yes, right? Es que se les llaman diferente y casi todas son casi iguales, right? Casi igual, casi lo mismo. Eh, casi lo mismo, cuando dices sandalia, ponete la sandalia, la gina, right? Eh, <risa> los slippers, right? Los, yeah, they're about the same, except that these are a little bit more classy. And these ah. are just a more ordinary, more ordinary. Okay. All right. Very good. Sure. Yes. Eh, los pantalones eh, para hacer deporte, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Ah, well, good question, right? Good question. Ha, esa sí no la sé. Ah, no se crea. Those are called sweatpants. Sweatpants. Right? Son con lo que usan los futbolistas a veces cuando van a jugar basketball, quiero decir, en basketball, right? Y, y, y se los, right? So, los usan y luego nomás se los quitan. Those are called sweatpants, incluso para hacer ejercicio también. Ok? Sweatpants. Sweatpants. Very good question, Jessica. Great, great. All right. Ahí tenemos sweatpants. Very good. Now I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and I want you to put in practice. Everything and everything that we saw, all the vocabulary, and let's get started. Breakout rooms. I'm going to put you in groups of seven. Groups of six. Okay. Remember, eh, this, Jessica, son aquellos pantalones que se usan para deporte, que a veces tienen una línea al, al lado, right, de diferente color. Sí. Eh, mm -hmm. yeah, right, yes. Yeah. Yes, those are called sweatpants. All right. Let me see. Get ready. One, two, three. Mm 
Okay, enter breakout rooms and practice for a few minutes. Okay, Dania, Jennifer, can you enter breakout rooms, please? And Sandra. Hello, Jennifer. Teacher. Yes. Fíjese que no me cayó como para unirme al grupo. Okay. Ahorita de, de okay. cuando hacemos ya sea pareja o Ok, lo que voy a hacer, la voy a sacar, porque está allí, pero no, entre, no he entrado. La voy a sacar y luego la voy a volver a, uh, a que entre, ¿ok? Sí, estoy ahí. Ok, dele, ¿ya le salió ahorita? Bye, está bien. No, me está cargando. Mm -hmm. Ok, Sandra. Es que tengo problemas con el internet, fíjense. Ok, Sandra en Dania, ¿y ustedes? Eh... También no han entrado. Hello, Sandra en Dania.
Thank you. Uh, Wendy, um, uh, what do you wear to work? In my work, I wear uh, high heels, um, a skirt. I wear a skirt because it's very. In this moment. Ah, in this moment. What do you What do you work oh, right is, now? In the moment. Oh. Teacher, se puede las dos. Mm -hmm. O hay una en específica. What right happened? now? Para preguntarle ah. lo que está vistiendo en este momento. Okay. Vistiendo. Oh. So you would say, right? What? In the moment. What are you wearing? Ah. Está vistiendo el endo. I see present continuous. Present continuous, yes. El endo, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Vistiendo, no sé. mirando. El, siempre okay. cuando, recuerden esta estructura, cuando vamos a utilizar el present continuous, tienen que utilizar el verb to be. ING. El verb to be. Wearing. Más el verbo con ING, ING. Ok. So, siempre tiene que ir el verb to be antes del verbo con ING. Entonces, ¿cómo era la pregunta? La puede repetir. Ok. What are you wearing? What, what are you wearing? Right now. Ahorita. Alguien parece que dijo ahorita, right? Ajá, ajá. Yes. Right? What are you wearing right now? Right now. Se puede decir también, what are you wearing right now? No, what are el verb. What are, ok. Right? okay. What are you what, wearing? Ok. What are you wearing? ¿Por qué sería are y no do? Ok, porque utilizamos el present continuous. Ah, ok, very. el ing. Right? Si utilizan el do, tiene, el verbo no puede ir con ing. El ing. Exactamente. So, no podemos decir what do you wearing. Incorrect, right? Uh -huh. What are you wearing? O right? sea que siempre, siempre que se ocupa el present continuous, siempre va a ir are. El verb to wearing. be. Ah, es el okay. is o el am. What uh -huh. are you? Or el pasado was or were. Wearing. O como was. What, okay. What were you wearing yesterday? Ah. Right? What are you wearing right now? At the moment. What were, were el pasado del, del are? El verb to be is were. Right? All right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Y para, para el I, I am wearing. Entonces el, la persona va a responder, I am wearing. Right? I am I wearing. wearing. Uh, I, estoy usando. I wear. Shirt, right? Uh, shorts or pants or whatever. Y si fuera en el pasado, I was wearing. Uh, I was okay. en pasado. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se preguntaba en pasado, teacher? What were you wearing? What were, okay. You wearing yesterday, right? What were you wearing yesterday? I was wearing, right? Y ya responde, I was wearing. I was wearing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was wearing. I was wearing. Right. Very good, yes. Very good. Very good. Okay, continue. Good job. Good job. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Hello, Luis. Luis Hernandez. Hello, Luis. Can you hear me? María, lo le voy a preguntar, digamos. Uh -huh. Hello, eh, ¿Qué do you wear to hello, party? Hello, bueno, teacher. To party. Vestido. A una fiesta, ¿va? Uh -huh. Depende, wear... digamos, pongamos lo que es una boda, ¿va? <risa> Entonces, ¿cómo es, ¿cómo es boda en inglés? 
A wedding. A wedding, very good. What do you wear to a wedding, right? Tenemos una duda, teacher. Tenemos una duda, teacher. Ask me. Este, a mí me preguntaron, what do you wear to work? Entonces yo me, yo describí, pero tenemos la duda con traje. Okay. Yo me describí que yo usaba un traje, ¿verdad? Con la bufanda y los tacones altos. Pues si se puede usar traje para mujer y lo mismo para hombre. Se sí. puede decir traje. El suit. Yeah, suit. Yes. suit. suit. Es para suit. ambos. Para, para ambos. ambos. Ok, yeah. ok. Very good. Esa era la pregunta porque estábamos con esa. Yeah, okay. You can wear okay. it for both. Right. Ok. All right. Thank you. Teacher. Okay, welcome back. Hello. How do you say uh, portfolio? Portfolio. 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 Thank okay. You. Nomás le quita la A. Porta. Port. Nomás portfolio. <laughs> okay. Es palabra de raíces latín, so it's about the same. All right. Okay, welcome back everyone. I hope you practice and did a lot of speaking with your classmates. I entered some breakout rooms, right? And there was some good activities going on. But I have to I have to do the final attendance. So please be attentive when I call your name. Eh, rápido se pasó la hora, right? Yes, already. <laughs> so, let me see. Okay, let's begin with the attendance. Angel Eduardo Ramirez. Angel Eduardo Ramirez. Okay, no answer. Carlos Luis Quiroa. Present. Thank you. Cesar Mauricio Morales. Present. Thank you. Dania Guadalupe Bolaños. Okay. No answer. Dania Saraí Martinez. Present. Thank you. Okay. Daniel Isaías. Presente. Thank you. Diana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Edith Alicia. Present. Thank you. Erica Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Genesis Marines. Okay, no answer. Ingrid Edelmira. Serna. Okay, no answer. Jacqueline Vanessa Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jorge Cuellar. Okay. No answer. All right. Jose Lopez Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Eligia Esther Estrada. Present. Thank you. Luis Eliaser Hernandez. Luis Hernandez. Okay, la respuesta. Luis Gonzalo Alemán. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Margarita Guadalupe. Okay, no answer. Marielos Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Melissa Valeria Morales. Present. Thank you. Ronald Antonio. Present. Thank you. Sandra Evelyn Vaquero. Present. Thank you. 
Wendy Beatriz Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Wendy Esmeralda Garcia. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Carolina Lemus. Present. Thank you. Jessica Roxana Contreras. Present. All right, thank you. And Zulma Guadalupe Vasquez. Present, teacher. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me take a screenshot. Okay. Okay, class. Thank you for participating. And you did very good today. I'm very pleased. Congratulations to everyone to to continue, right? And remember to continue to grow in the English language and practice speak and learn more vocabulary so that way you can be able to progress in the English language. So thank you once again. We will connect tomorrow. So get ready. We just have, we're almost finished. All right. So get ready for tomorrow and be ready to practice. I see everyone tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye